Number 15. Pizza Delivery When a woman in Avon Park, Florida sent in an order to Pizza Hut online, the message they found in the comments was more than your average pizza order. It read, Please help get 911 to me. 911 hostage help. The woman, Cheryl Treadway, and her children were being held hostage by her boyfriend, Ethan Nickerson. They'd been arguing all day when Nickerson took her cell phone from her. Treadway managed to talk Nickerson into giving her cell phone back for a moment so that she could order dinner online. That's when she sent her secret cry for help. Nickerson retained the woman's cell phone after that. All she could do was hope that the Pizza Hut employees had seen her message. One of them did. Alonia Hawk, a pizza chef, read the message and reported it to her manager. Candy Hamilton, who knew Treadway as a regular customer, immediately sprang into action and called 911. Hostage negotiator Lt. Curtis Ludden arrived to find Treadway racing out of the home with one of her children. Two more were still inside with Nickerson, who was armed with a knife and refused to open the door. Although it took about 20 minutes to convince Nickerson, police managed to get everyone out of the house unharmed. Nickerson was arrested and charged for his actions. Number 14. Prisoner Imagine in the bottom of your shopping bag, you discover a message from a Chinese prisoner. Help, 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 it reads. What do you do? 28-year-old Aussie Stephanie Wilson discovered this plea in her bag, written in blue on white paper. Accompanying the message was a passport photo of Tanin Emmanuel Nijong, along with his email address. Wilson said she was shook after reading the letter. Although the investigation led nowhere, a man claiming to be Nijong came out as the author of the secret message. I am just happy that someone heard my cry, he said. Number 13. Help me. How observant are you? Would you notice if someone in their car mouthed a secret message to you? One convenience store clerk did in Florida, in Jacksonville at a Kangaroo Express. It was one in the morning. When the store clerk looked out the window and saw a woman in the vehicle parked outside mouth, help. The clerk immediately called police and described the vehicle, enabling them to broadcast the description. Sure enough, the car was spotted by an officer on Atlantic Boulevard, but when the officer tried to pull him over, the driver, later identified as Jose Ramos Sandoval, sped off. Police pursued and the driver was then arrested. The victim said that Sandoval pulled over after finding her walking from one beach bar to another. He asked her if she wanted a lift, mistaking Sandoval for an acquaintance. And the real hero of this story, the convenience store clerk, was thanked for his efforts on social media. Number 12. Pain Problems Imagine you're traveling to a foreign land. Without a thought, you pack painkillers for your boyfriend's back pain. You arrive at your destination, ready for some rest and relaxation, when without warning, you're placed under arrest and imprisoned. That's what happened to Laura Plummer, a British tourist who traveled to Egypt. Her boyfriend had recently been in an accident, and she was visiting him in Egypt. But before she could, Plummer was arrested at the airport on the Red Sea. The 33-year-old tourist says she didn't know she was breaking the law when she brought the medication into the country carrying 290 pills. Plummer feared she might be charged with trafficking. Plummer received the meds from a friend in the UK who had a prescription. In a desperate plea, she passed a note to the son from behind bars that read, Please help me get out. I don't know what's happening. I'm scared. I had no idea that what I was doing was wrong. I thought I was doing a good deed. Plummer is being kept in a 15 by 15 foot cell with 25 other female prisoners. 
Having signed a 38-page statement written in Arabic, Plummer assumed she'd be permitted to go. Instead, she's been issued a three-year jail term, a term which was recently upheld in appeals court. Number 11. Lifesaver This message in a bottle saved the lives of over 80 migrants off the coast of Costa Rica. In 2005, the crew that was smuggling the migrants abandoned ship, leaving the migrants, most of whom were teenagers, to sink or swim. Literally, they sent an SOS message in a bottle, setting it adrift and praying that someone would find it. Please help us, they wrote. Fishermen found the bottle, read the message, and delivered it to workers at a World Heritage Site island nearby. They raised the alarm at the site's headquarters, and rescue crews were sent out to save the drifting migrants, who were then brought back to the island to mend a harrowing rescue, all due to a secret message in a bottle. Number 10. Chatsworth House there are some who write secret messages seeking immediate help, and there are some who want the future to know about the hardships they've suffered. The workmen at the Chatsworth House in the UK belong to this latter group when the British stately home of the aristocratic Devonshire family underwent a 32 million euro restoration program this year. Secret messages were found carved into the wood by the workmen who built the house 170 years ago. Part of their inscription read, Many out of employ and starving. This winter will be a severe one, so down with the Tory rascals. While they may not have lived to see their message heard, the men created a beautiful gem in the Chatsworth house that lives on. Number 9. Pizza Savior Yet again, pizza is credited for saving another captive's life. The couple in question had started dating in 2016 and then moved in together. But when they broke up in 2018, the woman moved to a new place and her boyfriend followed. When the abusive ex-boyfriend entered her house without invitation, his intent was to hold her captive. 55-year-old Dean Hoffman took his ex's phone and attempted to drag her upstairs. After allowing her to tend to her nose, he bound her hands and feet with a vacuum cord and shoved a towel in her mouth, leaving her there for 30 minutes. He then released her from her binds, but kept her captive for several more hours. Hoffman texted the woman's children on her phone to say she was sick and not to visit for a while. Then he ordered a pizza. When the pizza delivery guy, Joey Grundle, showed up, he probably didn't expect to find a captive person in the home, mouthing, help me, call police, but he did, and he followed her instructions. Joey Grundle said of the ordeal, it's kind of scary. She pointed to a black eye that was quite visible. Grundle made the call, and the police soon showed up to the home. Though at first, Hoffman tried to prevent the woman from answering the door. Officers convinced him to open up and he was arrested. Number 8. Zara When workers go unpaid, they have two options. Rise up or accept their fate. That's what some sweatshop workers did when they slipped secret messages into the clothes they were making for the clothing company Zara. I made this item you were going to buy but I didn't get paid for it. Read a note in place of a price tag at a store in Istanbul. An investigation into the matter uncovered that Zara had outsourced their garment making to Bravo Textile, a manufacturer who shut down overnight. After the shutdown, they refused to pay three months' wages to their employers, nor did they compensate them with a severance package. Factory workers took matters into their own hands, printing these messages on clothing tags and placing them on garments. If Bravo Textile didn't pay up, they expected Zara to. Controversial reports have revealed that the Spanish company doesn't have the greatest ethics. From ripped-off designs to environmental damage, 
Zara has also been charged with ignoring poor factory conditions. I'm guessing they'll try to avoid paying up at all costs. Number 7. Primark Irish clothing company Primark also experienced an incident of sweatshop labor sewn right into their clothing. Extra labels were found on items that said, forced to work exhausting hours, and degrading sweatshop conditions. While Primark planned to investigate the matter, it's known that the sites at which their products were manufactured were not up to code in the past. The Rana Plaza factory in Bangladesh, a company Primark and other retailers outsourced to, collapsed in April of 2013, leaving 1,134 passed away. A compensation fund was set up for their families who lost a loved one. Primark has contributed to this fund, but these secret messages discovered a year later in 2014 seem to indicate that things haven't changed. Number 6. BBC SOS Messages This one's a rather interesting historical callback to the early broadcast SOS message. In 1923, the BBC began broadcasting personal messages directly to individuals from people who needed help. The messages usually regarded the health of loved ones. This practice lasted 70 years. One example of this SOS message in action involved the great-grandfather of writer Kathleen Hawkins in 1954. She wrote that her grandfather discovered that his father was passing away through one of these BBC SOS messages. Please head to Dublin where your father is dangerously ill, the message said. Unfortunately, he didn't make it there before his father passed away. Number 5. Knitting Needle in the 1910s, spies used knitting, believe it or not. Women would knit codes into fabric, with bumpy stitches acting as coded messages. The Belgian resistance used this tactic against the occupying Germans. Knitting involves two types of stitches, a purl stitch in the form of a bump or a short dash, and a knit stitch flat and in the shape of a V. The result was that a pattern of stitches in a simple scarf or other piece of fabric could act like braille, delivering messages between spies. One spy, Phyllis Latour Doyle, was an operative for Britain, parachuting into Normandy in 1944. She implanted herself among the occupying German soldiers and gathered information to send back to her people, coating it on a piece of silk extraordinary, and yet completely ordinary. Number 4. CQD and Other Last Words When the Titanic set off on its maiden voyage, wireless was a fairly new technology, being a prestigious ship. The Marconi Company, a top tech brand at the time, installed its wireless operators abroad the ship. In fact, the Titanic had what was described by the BBC as the biggest and best wireless equipment in the world. While first-class passengers were the primary users of the technology, sending their friends and family messages back home, they wouldn't be the only ones to use it by the time their journey came to an abrupt end. When the Titanic hit the iceberg on the fateful night, the wireless operators sent out their first coded message requesting assistance. CQD. This was the popular distress signal at the time, although SOS was also in rare use. They then sent a more direct message to a ship called the Carpathia. Come at once. We have struck a berg. It's a CQD, old man. They sent a similar message to another ship, the Frankfurt. These messages were forwarded onwards to ships that might be closer. The messages from the Titanic continued, describing how the passengers were disembarking in boats. The power was shutting down and the engine room had flooded. A sister ship, the Olympic, responded, saying they were lighting up all boilers as fast as we can. A few minutes before the Titanic sank, one last urgent message was sent out in code, Come quick, engine room nearly full. This left the rescue ships to try and navigate to the Titanic's location. 
and coordinate rescue efforts. Once rescued, the survivors of the ship sent out their own personal messages to family and friends. Completely destitute, no clothes, one wrote. Meet me dock with $200, underwear, cap, big coat. Am well but slightly frozen, wrote another. Unfortunately, many did not get to send out a final message. Number 3. Black Dot Campaign This grassroots movement involves drawing a tiny black dot on your hand to signal to others that you are struggling, either to connect with other survivors or to cry for help. According to CAEPV.org, one in four women in America has been abused by an intimate partner. The campaign seeks to enable survivors to deliver a message to friends, relatives, and agencies that they are in need of help escaping an abusive relationship. The campaign does have its critics. Kim Gandy stated, Secrecy is actually an important element to safety planning for a survivor, which could be jeopardized if the abuser sees the dot or sees the remnants of it and knows it is an attempt to get help. Survivors, however, have utilized the dot. According to the campaign, not only has the dot already helped dozens of survivors escape their situations, but it is also a source of comfort to those who've been silent. It helps them voice their experiences. One example of this secret message in action came from a pregnant woman who was being abused by the baby's father. The man wouldn't let her out of his sight. After reading about the Black Dog campaign, she took a risk at a hospital exam. She jotted a note on her hand that simply said, Help me, which was signal enough for her healthcare professional to take action. The woman said she didn't have to say anything, and the consultant was able to move her to a safe place, just in time for her baby to arrive. At least some sad, scary stories have a happy ending. Number 2. Halloween SOS Yet another forced labor message, found this time in a Halloween toy. The letter was discovered by Julie Keith in Oregon. In a totally ghoul toy set she'd purchased at Kmart in 2011, the author wrote in broken English, If you occasionally buy this product, please kindly resend this letter to the World Human Rights Organization. Thousands people here will thank and remember you forever. The letter continued detailing the abuses, the long hours, and worse experienced by those in a China labor camp. After contacting human rights groups to no avail, Keith posted the letter on Facebook and it was picked up by the media. It wasn't until much later that Mr. Zhang came forward in CNN's Beijing office to share his story. Zhang was imprisoned by the Chinese government for being part of the Falun Gong spiritual movement. He spent two and a half years in a labor camp, which is when he wrote the message. For people who have never been there, it's impossible to imagine, he said. The first thing they do is take your human dignity away and humiliate you. Before we get to number one, my name is Chills and I hope you're enjoying my narration. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. It's a proven fact that generosity makes you a happier person, so if you're generous enough to hit that subscribe button and the bell beside it, then thank you. This way, you'll be notified of the new video we upload every Tuesday. Number 1. Airline Trafficking If you see something, say something. That's what this flight attendant on Alaska Airlines did when she saw a 14 or 15 year old girl who appeared disheveled on her flight. The older man who accompanied her was well dressed and the disparity struck a chord. Sheila Frederick was working her flight route from Seattle to San Francisco when she felt in her gut that something was off. Their appearance together and their behavior confirmed her suspicions. When she spoke to the pair, the young girl remained silent and the man seemed defensive because the girl wouldn't speak to her. Frederick took matters into her own hands. She left a note for the girl in the bathroom of the plane. The girl responded, writing, I need help. 
Frederick sought help from the plane's pilot, who contacted the San Francisco police. They were there to arrest the despicable trafficker when the plane landed. Frederick said, I've been a flight attendant for 10 years, and it's like I'm going all the way back to when I was in training. And I was like, I could have seen these young girls and young boys and didn't even know. Luckily, she was at least able to save this person. Thanks for checking out this video. Be sure to subscribe because we upload new countdowns every Tuesday and Saturday. Or if you're still not convinced, here are some of our other videos that I think you'd like. Enjoy!